What's up, YouTube? It's the Action Figure Grader, and literally just as I posted that video on the Gamorrean Guard bootlegs, I got a nice shipment from FedEx Man with uh, some carded figures that I had graded, uh, sent into uh, Collector Archive Services last month, and they just arrived. And I took some of them out of the poly bag, some of them I did not, because I'm not sure if I'm going to be selling them or trading them or keeping them or what, but uh, let's go ahead and dive right in. We got, I think, 13 uh, figures. Uh, the first one is a Power of the Force. Two, uh, Boba Fett, this is the 1995, you know, uh, Power of the Force 2 with the bulked up bodies. Uh, this one's cool because it has the half circles on the hands. Uh, so this is a variant. Uh, you can see right here with the hands. It's got little half circles on there. So this is the U.S. card, red card, Boba Fett. And uh, so this is one I just had graded. I had this one in my collection for a while. Uh, and it came back with a 90. Um, and let's see, it's 1995, Kenner... Star Wars, Power of the Force 2, Boba Fett, half circles on hands, and it got straight 90s. So very, very nice, but yeah, that's kind of cool to have the variant. I've got a, a, a few of these uh, Boba Fett, Power of the Force 2 figures, and that's just another one. Uh, next is another Boba Fett. Uh, this is the uh, Canadian release. You can see the French language up there. It's got a very, very slight yellow tint to the bubble, so it did get a yellow grade, unfortunately. I, I didn't notice that when I sent it in, but... Nevertheless, very nice. This is, so you can see the difference in the hands there. Uh, so these are the full circles. This is like the standard figure uh, with the full circles on the hands, uh, as you can kind of see there. I was actually use, I was actually pointing at it on my phone. That's how idiotic I am. But yes, right there. You can see the, the full circles on the hands versus the other ones. Uh, and the, this one also got a 90. Obviously got the yellow bubble. Uh, but straight 90s. Power of the Force 2, Boba Fett, Canadian card, 90, yellow. So, very cool. Uh, all of these come with uh, the certificate of, or the statement of archive, archival from CAS. So, uh, they're just kind of inserted inside the poly bag here. So, that's how they come already in the poly bag. I've got, uh, most of these I've got, I've taken out of the poly bag. But these first few, I'm not sure if I'm keeping them or not. So, I'm keeping them in the poly bag. Uh, this one is out of the poly bag because I'm keeping this one. This is one you guys have already seen before. This is a uh, Power of the Force 2 Bosk, but it has been signed by Alan Harris. So it says Alan Harris is Bosk. This is just the standard U.S. card, 1997. Uh, and here's the, the, what's interesting about this is that you know, they, they authenticate the signature. So this has a different label on it. It's got a yellow label. Uh, Power of the Force 2. Well, it says Power of the Force, but really Power of the Force 2 Bosk. And then it's got a JSA number, and I'll go over that in a second. Signed by Alan Harris, and the card is 80, bubble 85, figure 90, overall 85, but it's this 2019 signature series. And so if you got, if you have, if you own an item that uh, has been autographed by somebody, uh, you can send it in now to Collector Archive Services. I've covered this in my, on my channel before. And what they do is you got to pay for the grading of the actual figure, but then you pay for a authentication service which is james spence authentication uh they're basically a, mem a memorabilia company but you pay a little bit extra and they will authenticate that the autograph is legitimate and it comes with the statement of archive for every item uh which is the signature series but then it also comes with a letter of authenticity uh and so it it has you know all the information on here uh signature location Writing implement color is kind of funny how much detail they go into, but it gets, it's got a close-up of the actual autograph, and uh, it basically just says, "Hey, it's real," and it comes with like a you know embossed uh, uh, JSA authentication uh, document. So it's nice to have this, and that's what you're paying for to make sure it's <clears throat> legitimate. And so, you know, if I ever keel over and die, my wife can sell it and you know include this with the sale. And uh, so it's all embossed and, you know, legitimate. So that's kind of cool that they do that. That's the first time I've ever done that. But it turned out really nice. And so, you know, an another Bosk item for my collection. Uh, so that is that. Um, it's kind of a lot of figures here. So I apologize ahead of time here for the presentation. The next one is a 8D8 torture droid from Jabba's Dungeon. This is the 77 U.S. Kenner card. It's obviously very yellowed. Uh, this one came back with a 75. 77 back A, 88. 75 for the card. 
blister got an 85, figure got an 85. So almost almost got an uh, an 80, but uh, I think the card has got a, a pretty heavy crease somewhere uh, around. Well, yeah, around the uh, around the punch hole, you can kind of just make it out there and there. So that's what that's what held this one back. I, I went ahead and got it graded though, because it's been in my collection for a while, and I may resell it. I may hold on to it. Who knows? Um, and then let's see. Next, we got a nice one. This is a 31 back A. Empire Strikes Back, Hoth Stormtrooper, a very clear bubble, um, but you know it's got a lot of damage to the card. I've, I've owned this card for God, I don't even know how long, a long time, but really heavy creasing up here, uh, and I think there's some on the back as well. But very, very nice. It's the debut card, um, you know, clear bubble, and this one came back with a 70, uh, 31 back A Imperial Stormtrooper, Hoth Battle Gear, card got a 70, blister got an 80, figure got an 80. Overall, seventy one point four. So, very nice. You know, I might, I might upgrade. I, I like, I do like this. And blacked out Ewoks pointed this out on my Instagram. But I like how it says drug fair up there. And I think I responded, yes, these are kind of like drugs for me now. Uh, so, <laughs> pretty cool though. I love that art, uh, card art. And uh, it's got, you know, the I can't show you the backs for some of these because I haven't taken them out. But it's got the statement of our cobble. I'll, I'm probably going to upgrade this one and, and just sell this. Um, but. I may keep it. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Um, okay, last of the of the ones that are still in the poly bag. The rest I'm keeping for sure. So I'm, I'm, I took them out of the poly bag for you guys. But this is the Tri Logo Biker Scout. Really pretty car. This is another one I've had in my collection forever. Really heavy creasing around the punch tab. It is still intact. I, I, I checked that before I sent it in. If it if it was not intact, I think it automatically lowers it to a sixty. Uh, from I know AFA if you, if it's torn all the way through and not connected, uh, AFA will at, at highest score to 60. But I think this one is still attached. It's just really really heavy creasing. Obviously the bubble's got some damage too, which is common with these tri logos. But anyway, this one scored a 70. Uh, card 70, bubble 75, figure 85, uh, 70 back B tri logo biker scout palatoy. So. Really, really nice card art though. But I, I, again, I've had this one in my collection for forever, and I just decided to go ahead and get it graded. Um, okay, so now we got. Let's see, we got eight left, seven left, eight left. One, two, three, four, seven left. Okay, so uh, these are all definitely staying in my collection. So I went ahead and um, I went ahead and uh, and took them out of the poly bags. But uh, this is a Klaatu in his skiff guard outfit. This is the seventy-seven back A. And uh, it came back with an 80, card 80, bubble or blister 85, figure 85. So, but you know, really heavily yellowed. Uh, I've I've never seen one of these with a clear bubble. I'm sure they're out there somewhere. Somebody has one, but it's nice and it's got uh, an unpunched uh, unpunched uh, tab up there. So it'll be a nice one to keep in my collection. And so 77 back a very standard Kenner card. Um, next we have a Kenner Canada, another Canadian card in this batch, uh, but this is the Bib Fortuna, uh, it's got the, uh, the, the price sticker of $1.19 up there, you can see the French writing, but beautiful Bib Fortuna card, I've already got, I believe, the 65 back A, AFA 85, but now I have the Kenner card, this is the 77 back A, Kenner Canada, clear bubble, just absolutely gorgeous. I paid, you know, a really good price for this one. This one came back with an 80 plus. Uh, so it came back with a card 80, blister 85, figure 85. And it has some light scratches. I don't know if it'll show up or not. It had some light scratches on the card, which is probably what held it back from an 85. But beautiful, beautiful card. And you can see here up the top, it has uh, Le Guerre des Etoiles. So uh, this is the, the French Canadian card. Really cool. Really cool. Um, definitely, bib is one of my favorites, so I've got a second bib now uh, to add to the collection. Uh, next, we have a 65 back B TIE Fighter palette. Another one I've had just for about forever in my collection, but really nice quality. It's got a, a little bit of a crease up there at the hanger tab, but otherwise it's a really clean card. It's got the price sticker. Slightly yellowed bubble, which is common, but the, the the weapon is still attached. I've got a 77 back A that's an a, uh, AFA 85, but I figured I'd go ahead and grade this one too. 65 back B, uh, card and blister got 80, figure got 85. So uh, overall 80. Really nice, so I love that card art on that one. Um, okay, 
What else? We have a Lily Letty. This is a Lily Letty made in Mexico. I wish it was a true Lily Letty because this would be worth about 25 or 30 times what this is worth. But this is just the U.S. card, but it's made in Mexico. Reese, nice clear bubble. Um, and he came back with an overall 80. And you can see there, made in Mexico. Card got an 80, blister 85, figure 80. Uh, because the weapon has come out of the uh, tape there. Uh, but again, this is the Made in Mexico, you can see right there. And then there's also the standard factory punch for the uh, blister that, that I guess maybe keeps it keeps it from yellowing too much. But really nice card, but this is the 65 back B Reese Made in Mexico. Um, I'm going to have to put some of these back. I should have done a better job of organizing... Uh, this before I started, but it is what it is, right? Um, okay, I've got three left, and then I'll be out of your hair. Next is a 65 back B Luke Skywalker. Really nice card. I picked this one up a while ago. Beautiful card. It's obviously got some yellowing, but uh, the gun is still attached to the tape, and it came back with an 85. Uh, card got an 85. Blister got an 85. Figure got an 80. I mean, I'm guessing there's some there's some paint fading uh, on the figure, otherwise it should have gotten an 85 with uh, the, the gun still being attached. Typically, if the gun is not attached, it's an 80, but it got an 80 anyway, so I'm assuming it's either got some factory paint error or just some fading over time. But still, give me a break. This is an overall 85 Luke in his X-Wing gear, and just a beautiful, beautiful example, and I'm glad to have it in my collection. This is actually the first Luke X-Wing license figure in my collection. You can see the Polish bootlegs up here, but I finally did get a Luke X-Wing, a license figure, graded. Uh, but that's the first one I've ever gotten. Next, I got a really good deal on this one. This is a uh, Power Droid. Really heavily yellowed bubble, but it's got the Anakin sticker, as you can see there. Uh, I think that's a 77B, if I remember, remember right. Uh, yeah, 77B Power Droid. Card, blister, and figure all got 85, so it's a yellowed 85 overall. So really, really nice example, and uh, really happy to have that one. I don't have a lot of droids in my collection other than some loose R2s and uh, C-3PO's, so I need to work on that, but it's nice to get another, um, another droid to add to the collection. All right, finally, and then I'll be done, uh, I got a Palatoy 45 back, I believe it's a C. We'll check the label in a second, but this is a 45 back... Palatoy made Walrus Man. Absolutely gorgeous. It's got the white tusks. Um, probably a PVP figure, if I had to guess. Most of the, the ones that came on the Palatoy card were either Meccano made or, or uh, PVP Spanish made figures. But uh, really beautiful example. I got this one for a great deal. Great deal. And uh, the score reflects that still. It's an 85 overall. Card got an 85, blister 85, figure got a 90. So a really, really beautiful example of the uh, Palatoy Walrus Man. This is a very, very common figure, uh, carded figure to find. But uh, very rarely do they yellow. But uh, this is the back of it, so you can kind of see what the Palatoy cards look like. It's uh, deep black, and then, you know, it's got the uh, the UK address on the back. But uh, a very, very common, one, probably one of the most common Palatoy cards are that are out there but anyway thank you for watching i'll have some uh collector archive services photos at the end of this so you can take a closer look but uh, just a really nice batch nothing too uh world shattering or anything but uh but a very nice batch i hope that um basically i'm i'm, I'm hardly sending anything else into collector archive or afa this year other than carded figures i want, I want to build up my carded figure collection i've only got maybe 30 or so uh if that and uh, so I've, I've got uh, a number of these uh, that are still in grading and I'm going to be sending to grading and things like that. And hopefully be adding a few that are already graded uh, over the course of the year. Anyway, thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.